Hey guys, what's up? It's Maddie here, and welcome to my 25-week pregnancy update. Um, it's kind of hard to believe that I'm already 25 weeks. I mean, I know it's still 15 weeks away. That's still four months. But four months in pregnancy talk, three and a half months in real months. Um, but it's, it's just crazy to me to think that it's already been 25 weeks, you know? Um, I may have 15 more to go, and while that seems like a lot to some people, being through 25 weeks, it's just crazy to think I'm w over halfway, and he's going to be here soon, I mean sooner than later, and when he gets here, I'm going to be like, oh, <laughs> um, it's going to be awesome for videos when he gets here, um, I can't wait for you guys to meet him, and even just, I think, one, I'm going to feel better, <laughs> and not so bloated and full, and have him kicking me all the time, so I'm excited. Alright, let's get into my symptoms and um, everything else. So yeah, what he's going through at this point. Um, but I guess we'll go for symptoms first. Um, not too much heartburn, tiredness, um, very much so. I babysat my nephew yesterday, and he's one and a half. And he weighs over 25 pounds, and it really, really hurt picking him up. And um, it sucks because I feel like I can't do much. But And I feel like I'm, like, whining about it. And I don't mean to whine. It's not that I'm trying to whine. I'm just saying that it hurts a little bit more than what it used to feel like. Um, which, I mean, anyone who's, over, who's 25 weeks or over maybe understand. Um, also, being plus size, I already had a belly. So, with him growing in my belly, um, the way my nephew sits on my side or however I have to hold him, it kind of just, it, it pushes weird. I don't know if maybe that has anything to do with being plus size or not, but it, it can hurt, um, actually quite a bit. And then he starts kicking, so I can tell he doesn't really like it. Um, other than that, I laid on my back the other day and I saw him kick my left side, um, for the very first time on the outside of my body. I could feel it on the inside him moving, but no one could tell. But I saw it on the outside and I think it was, I was like, keep kicking! And he only did it twice. He was like, no, I'm done. I'm not going to show off for you. But I was pretty excited to see him kick and see it on the outside. It makes it a lot more real. Because when he's moving in there, while you know it's a person, it's just... Kind of feels like bubbles in there, and it doesn't, since no one could see it, doesn't really feel like really real. But when I saw it on the outside, it was it was just amazing. Um, other than that, I don't really have many symptoms. I know some of these are probably really boring updates, because I update weekly, and I don't know if I should, because a lot of it doesn't change within like one week, you know? Every couple weeks, maybe something really happens. I think it changed a lot more when I was not as far along and when I'm going to get even further along. I think stuff will change a little bit more about my uncomfortableness and stuff. Um, I still can't really sleep at night. I wake up every few hours and have to roll around and my I always end up on my back and I have to turn on my side and then my sides hurt and my hips hurt and um, yeah. that That's probably been the biggest downfall about the pregnancy I'd have to say um but yeah other 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 any other symptoms that is it and I don't think I've had very much craving lately except just something cold I don't know if that can be a craving at all like sorry if it's weird but just something really really cold juice something to drink or pickles because they're so cold and the juice from the pickles I don't know if that's what it is but those are all the symptoms I'm having so I guess we'll just go on to my um app you guys can't see my passcode this is my app that I use um what to expect and I am 25 weeks and two days I have 14 weeks and five days left my baby is as big as a turnip and I I don't know how big a turnip is um, but he's about 9 inches and about 1.7 pounds. So it is so weird to think that he's probably around 2 pounds, you know? I mean, obviously he's a little, he's a little less, but I'm gonna round up that he's around 2 pounds, and soon he's gonna be like an 8 pound baby, 
And it's just even weirder to me that in three weeks he's gained nearly a pound and it took 20 weeks to get to a pound. At, tw at, my, ni at my anatomy scan, I was 19 weeks and five days. Uh, or 19 weeks and four days. One of those. <laughs> I actually um, was only measuring about 11 ounces, give or take two, because obviously it's not 100% accurate. And so um, that was actually pretty interesting, I thought. All right, and then what, let's see what it says about baby. Um, it says, your baby is growing by leaps and pounds, reaching nine inches in length and passing the pound and a half mark. Under his skin, capillaries are forming and filling with blood, and by week's end, air sacs, also lined with capillaries, will develop in his lungs, getting them ready for the first breath. Mind you, those lungs aren't ready for prime time just yet, but they are, de they are developing surfactant, a substance that will help them expand after birth. And speaking of breathing, your baby's tiny nostrils, uh, which have been plugged up until now, are starting to open, and his vocal cords are getting ready to roar. So that's just, um, that's just a little bit they tell me kind of about what's going on with, um, the baby inside me, and I think it's pretty interesting to think, like, that his eyes could be open now, or, um, you know, he could kind of see, like, the sh the contrast of light and dark. Um, obviously, he's inside my belly, he can't see, like, shapes or anything, but he could see if, I, if it's brighter or if it's, um, nighttime, um... It's interesting to see that his nostrils are opening up. I never even thought that they, I, it never even crossed my mind really that they were, would be kind of like closed or anything. I mean, I guess it makes sense. All, all this stuff has to be created, but it's just weird to think, you know? Um, but yeah, I mean, that's really all there is to tell this week. Um, I have my doctor's appointment a week from Friday. Yeah, a week from Friday. I don't know why I just stalled there. I apologize, like mush in my brain. A week from Friday, I have my doctor's appointment. So my next one won't have my doctor's appointment stuff in it, my 26 week update, but the one after that will. And this week is gonna be a, pr next Friday is gonna be a pretty standard um, routine. But after that is when I have my, that's when I switch to every two weeks for my doctor's appointments. And that is when I, um, that is when I get my glucose test. So, hoping for good things about that. And I know that if you don't pass the hour test, you go in for a three hour test. And I don't know what happens from there. So, I'm just going to hope for great things for the hour test and that I'm doing well and I'm being healthy and I haven't gained any weight. And I have no clue if that means anything regarding gestational diabetes, which it probably doesn't. But yeah, there's not much else to talk about. And I am going to head out. I have a lot of homework to do. My semester ends in three weeks and then I have a summer break. So finals are coming up. So I shall talk to you guys later and hope you guys have a wonderful day.